Right, my friends. How are we? I trust you're well. What is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Creates. Well, actually, no. I just created. Or should I call it Rugby Player? No. No, I just created. I just created an NFL football player and put him in a rugby video game video. <sighs> Look, I've got to be honest, guys. When I started this video series, when I had this idea in my head, there was only one player that I actually wanted to do it for. There's only one player that I really, really wanted to, to make them as accurate as possible. I wanted to put them in the position that I really thought they could dominate in. And I think that this player, especially in the simulated game that we have after creating the player, I feel like that this player in this position is gonna really, really get an opportunity to do some damage. And I'm so excited to see that because at the end of the day, we've put these NFL players <clears throat> who are fantastic in their respective positions in the game of American football, we've tried to put them in the position in a rugby team that they, you know, perform the best in. But the reality is, I mean, number one, it's it's just a video game, so nothing's gonna be as, as lifelike as what I'm imagining in my head. And number two, <laughs> I've, I've I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually becoming more increasingly aware of the fact uh, the more I watch the game, more games that I actually see on, on Rugby Challenge 3, and the, and the fact that, you know, in rugby, if you're playing a certain position, you don't always get the ball. You know, you have to stay in your position, you have to do your certain jobs, just like the game of football. And so at the end of the day, I'm putting these amazing athletes with these amazing attributes into positions on a rugby field where they don't really get too much ball. You know what I mean? They just need to be solid. They need to be, you know, good hitters. They need to, you know, not miss tackles. When they do catch the ball, be solid with it. Keep the ball, uh, have good strength, and definitely good awareness. But with all that being said, this is all just for fun, and that's why I'm doing it. Like I said, this player I'm extremely excited about because I actually think he's going to excel in the game. And that player is none other than Saquon Barkley. You know, I've, I've seen a fair few uh, training clips of Saquon without pads on and without the helmet. And you know, if you think he's, he's strong and he moves well in pads and in a game, well, honestly, I've, I've never seen anything like this. You know, his explosion, his speed, his acceleration without pads on, on a field, just boots, just cleats, you know, just, just, just some skins and a t-shirt. He is so fast. He is so explosive. And, you know, I just think, fuck, put him on a rugby team, put him at second five, give him the ball with a few meters in front of him. Oh man, he is just going to cause carnage. The only thing he'd need to do is learn the rules so it would come automatically. You know, when he does get tackled, he'd know exactly what to do. But that comes with the that but that but that comes with 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 growing up with the game. You know what I mean? Even if you didn't grow up with the game and you took it up at 15 or 20 years old, it would still be hard to learn. It's like whatever you grow up with is just ingrained in your brain, isn't it? It's like when I watch the game of rugby, I see things happen. You know, I automatically process why that's happened. Whereas if someone else is watching it, it literally looks like guys just diving everywhere. Um, the ball somehow pops out <laughs> and keeps going and it's just, I don't know, honestly, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to somehow, and this is gonna be my final thought before we get into this. I would love to somehow instantly forget everything I ever knew about the game of rugby and then watch it for the very first time and see exactly what I thought because it's never gonna be possible. I can never ever feel that, but you guys can. So let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys, I've actually, yeah, I've really got ahead of myself and, and talked way too much. If you're still here, and if you've watched this entire thing so far, thank you so much. But we are about to get into creating Saquon Barkley on a rugby video game. So I'm gonna roll the intro and see you in a second. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. Morning. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. They storming. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, like foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell them I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Let's see how Saquon. Let's see how Saquon does in rugby. Finally. I have thought about this for so many fucking, well, it's not even months anymore. It's years. 
First time I saw Saquon was playing for Penn State in a top 10. Top 10, top 10, take, top 10 plays by Saquon Barkley in college football. And if you want to, well actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, should I put a little clip of that in here? I might do, I might do. If I do, you'll see it now. Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another NFL reaction video. I'm absolutely loving these. I've got another suggestion from you guys. In fact, he was requested probably about four or five different times, to be honest. And his name is Saquon Barkley, I believe. Um, let, me, let me read some of these comments we got. Uh, let's get some stats on this fella. Six f holy fuck, he's huge. <laughs> oh, he's only 21. Oh, oh. When I see guys like this who were born in like 95, 96, 97, and I'm born in 1990, God, it makes me feel old. Uh, what are we going to do here? Which one? All right, we'll go top 10 plays. Let's do this. They're trying to work back in the lineup. Very experienced, rich. Oh, hold up, hold up. I've done this before. I've started without the screen recorder going. No, we're good. We're good. At that time, he costs him five yards, and he makes it third and 12. And it's sorely. Going back to the left to Barkley. Oh, nice stick. Can he go the distance? Look at his legs, he's huge. He's fucking huge, he's a monster. Okay, and since then, you know, I've been a massive fan. As you guys know, I I back Saquon Barkley to the hills. I think he's going to be a Hall of Fame running back. Um, touch wood. Bar anything out of his control happening. Um, if it's in his control, I feel like he is only going to go from strength to strength. He takes his inspiration from Adrian Peterson, who is a 35-year-old Hall of Fame running back, who I absolutely love as well. So anyway, let's get into this. Customize. Player. Create player. So once again, I'm hoping that they've got Barkley Ah oh, shit, that's not right. My uh, my OCD is playing up. That needs to be a capital letter. Barclays, relatively common, right? Boom, it's there, okay. So for anyone wondering, I'm grabbing the information from two sources for each of these players, uh, which doesn't give us everything, but it gives us enough to make them and they are from NFL.com with his player profile statistics and his Madden 20 statistics or attributes as they call them. So with that being said, Saquon is currently 23. We're going to go right footed. His nationality being the United States. <laughs> oh man, this makes me excited. Inside center for his position. Okay, funnily enough, I've, I, you know, I'm playing rugby for Littleton at the moment. If you want to know positions, we're finally getting out to the position that I actually play. You know what I mean? Um, this season, I have been switching between centre, which is the one outside of what, where Saquon's going to be playing, or wing, which is the one outside of that, uh, or I have been playing at fullback, but not too much. So anyway, let me just say that when... <laughs> <laughs> when we do finally create this whole team, I mean, this is this has taken heaps of time to create all these players, but what I want to do at the very end is put them all together and have the NFL team with all of these creative players as a full rugby team playing against the All Blacks. That is the goal, that's what this is about, and then hopefully I can actually use them as a team, like online and possibly create a, I don't know, a series or, I don't know, anything possible, but this is the work you've got to put in, and I actually enjoy it. Let's get to the statistics. Let's get to the attributes. Inside center. Right. You know what? No wonder Barkley wasn't... I, I remember seeing something about Barkley not being happy with his, his, some of his uh, Madden ratings. And look, uh, uh, you know, neither am I, to be fair. Anyway, let's continue. Fitness. We don't actually have a fitness rating, but I feel like he's pretty fit. We're going to go 90. Speed. They've got him at 92. Acceleration, 93. Oh, mate. 
Saquon Barkley at inside centre. Speed, acceleration and agility all in the 90s. That's when you know you got something. Yeah, next level. Um, anyways, this is a video game like I said, so you never know what's going to happen. Aggression, we're going to go 80. Agility, 96. Not bad. Not bad at all. Break tackle. Alright, so we'll call that strength. No, you know what? No, no. I'm gonna take break I'm gonna take break tackle into my own hands. He knows how to break a tackle. He's 95 break tackling. Um, on defense, I've actually never seen but I've never seen Barkley tackle. So we're gonna keep that at 50. Passing. You know what? I reckon offensively, I reckon. I reckon he can throw it. I reckon he can sling it. But we're going to keep it at 65. Offloading, we're going to put it at 65 as well because a little pop pass is actually pretty easy to learn. And I feel like I feel like Barkley could pretty much get offloading down in a day. So we're going to go 65. General kicking. General kicking. He's not going to do a huge amount of kicking. Although at second five, when the first five isn't available, you you are, you know, you know, you are known to sort of do a, a few clearing kicks at times. With that being said, we're actually going to keep it at 50. I don't know that he's too much of a kicker. Uh, we're going to keep goal kicking down at, yeah, 30. Catching. Hmm. Well, I don't want him dropping any balls. Um, he does line up as a receiver occasionally, so we're going to call it 90. Strength. 81. Now, that is under par. But I'm going to keep it consistent with Madden. Uh, mental agility, he's definitely on the ball. We're going to go 70. In fact, you know what? No, no, no. I said this last time. We're going to share mental agility and discipline between however many points they are over 50 for their awareness category on Madden, right? And if that doesn't make sense, I don't blame you. Uh, but basically, He's at 80 awareness, that means he's 30 points above 50, which means we have 30 points to divide over these two attributes, starting at 50. With that being said, 30 divided by 2 is 15, mental agility is at 65, and discipline is at 65. Jumping? He's got a 40 inch fucking vertical, but he isn't going to be jumping in the line out, although I'm going to say 90 anyway. Let's continue. Now one thing I am realizing guys is that yeah and Barkley's no different. Um, these guys have extremely wide necks. It's pretty fucking crazy how wide they are. Not so much the head, but the neck. So we'll go neck width and we'll get that. Yeah, that actually looks Yeah, that's about right. Neck shape. Traps. Yeah, you've definitely got some traps. We'll we'll keep it there. I won't worry about neck angle or back of skull. Face shape. Temples. Hmm. Flat. Head shape. Fluff <laughs> fucking <laughs> cone head. Um, <laughs> no, that's a cone head. Uh, yep, we're going to keep your cone head status until we put some hair on you. Whoa, hey! Um, nah, about that. Overall width. Shit, looks like I'm already. I am joking. Alright, where are we? Complexion. Mm. I'd say that one. Let's. Let's change the eye colour, that helps. Um, geez, you know what? I'm just going to keep them like that. No headgear. <laughs> he's got, yep, he's got a fade. Let's see if we can find a way fade here. Crop cut. Wow, the hairstyles back in uh, back in 2016 were 
pretty interesting, I'll say that much. Um, we're going to keep it, you know what, pretty much like that at the moment. Hair color, black. Yep, that looks about right. The hair's not, the, 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 the hair's just not right though, is it? Um, crew cut. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. Where are you? You know what? You know what? That's him. <laughs> I know it doesn't look too much like him, but it is. Okay, six foot, 182, and 233 pounds, which by my calculation is around about 105 kg. So, 182, boom, there it is. 182 and 105 kg. Torso. Nah, he's, he's, yeah, pretty fucking treated. We're gonna go small stomach. Uh, definition defined, spine shape. Puff your chest out. Um, arms, yeah, big. Legs, big. Leg shape. What's the one that looks them? What's the one that makes them look the most big? Probably half and half. All right, accessories. No strapping. The way that we're making these players stand out on the field is we're giving them sleeves and boots in the color purple, right? For backs. In the forwards, the way I did it is I gave them pink boots and a stars and striped theme headgear, which really made them stand out. The only thing I can do with the backs, I'm taking off the headgear because, you know, some of them have actually quite quite interesting hairstyles. So we are going to keep the hairstyles on the backs players. And Saquon Barkley is definitely a back. So with that being said, we're looking for purple. There it is. Purple boots. And purple boots. That is Saquon Barkley, guys. Um, he looks absolutely monstrous. In fact, you know what? I think at his height, I feel like his arms are actually... They're just, they're just too big. That looks a bit better. Sweet. Done. Just like that. Now what we do here is we go to teams. We go edit team. We go team Lamar Jackson. Now uh, Lamar Jackson was the last player that we, we saw play. And we're gonna rename this to team Saquon. Just to make it easy for the viewer, uh, Team Saquon Barkley. Let's change the home stadium to... We're going to change it to Eden Park, which is actually New Zealand's home ground. Actually, no. Do they have Soldier Field? Because that's the only one that I know of in the States. No, they don't have it. But we are going to go across the Pacific. We're going to play at Toronto Field. And if I can just pull up the squad, we're going to take Lamar Jackson out, replace him with Dan Carter. And now what we're going to do, which is almost the most exciting thing of the day, is we're going to find him from the recruit pool. And there he is. And you never know what, what star rating they're going to be, right? The, I think the highest star rating we've got is Tom Brady, which is 92. And Saquon Barkley, the 23-year-old inside center comes in at a 91 star rating. All right, we're gonna pick him up. He is the 40th member of the squad. We're gonna grab him and we're gonna take out an absolute legend who has been playing fantastically in every single one of these games that I've sinned, Ma'anonu. The 32 year old inside center, we're gonna replace. Well, actually, he's, is he 32 now? I think he's like 35 now, to be honest. Um, we're gonna take out the 36 year old Currently, legend, 103 test, all black legend, Martin Onu. Uh, we're going to replace him with the rookie, 23 year old Saquon Barkley. And let's see what the fuck happens, man. This is going to be absolutely fun as. And with that being said, guys, let's get it on. Team Saquon Barkley versus USA. We're playing at Canterbury Stadium. And I'll see you there. We 
have what is said to be a great test match here. The All Blacks, they're in such incredible form of late, I can only see this match going one way. And with me in the box, Justin Marshall. Beautiful conditions here, Justin. It's lovely here, and that's good news for everyone. The fans have been filing in steadily. I'd say we're just about at capacity. This should be a good game. So, the crowd settles down as the All Blacks prepare for the haka. It's a relief to be up here in the commentary box and not out there. They look mean. Oh, look at those goosebumps on your neck. Carter makes the kickoff. The kickoff snapped up. Butcher with a pass. He shows a clean pair of heels. Great tackle. Close, but no cigar. He's taken out just when he looked like scoring. He keeps the ball moving. Adams dodges his way through the tackle. Release. Have to release the ball now. Chase pushes it on. Well, look. Release. Go at the ball. Oh! He's given away the penalty right on his own line. I think this might be a yellow card here. It's unlikely that he'll miss from that range. Edwards lines this one up. That's gone dead, and I suspect they'll take the kick here. Twenty-two metre restart. Coleman with a good catch while airborne. Yeah, he took a great catch. He was under all sorts of pressure too, but he handled it well. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Release. He's got to let it go now. Now the numbers turn up. They've turned it over beautifully done. It was good work by them leading up to that. Banks fails to put his man away. Your Blacks will have another go here. Still there, I think. Kieran Reid feeds it off. Johnson unable to hold him. He's been taken out of play there. Chase dragged it down nicely. So a maul here. And they've got it at the back there. Edwards feeds it on. Delivers it short. He's run into a good tackle there. Do they have this still? Yes, they do. Runs at the line. Chase nailed in that tackle. Police. Ball's being contested. They've turned it. Built some pressure, and they turned the ball over very well. Did right. Barkley sells a dummy. Smith is chasing after this. The bounce is favourable. Johnson charging his way downfield. So this is a lineup. Just got a player returning in, Nisbo. They'll be happy to see him back. Richie McCaw claims it. 
Looking to make a little ground here. And it's there now. Sells the dummy. Turns it back on the inside. Miyalamu. Release. Having a go at the ball. Reed pushes through. Strong running. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Looks like they've lost this. Felt some pressure, and they turned the ball over very well. Yep, that's right, Justin. Smith decides to let that one bounce. And it's been well anticipated. Powerful defence. Now tackled to the ground. Looks like it's still on the side of USA. A little past the end. Banks keeps it going. I think they still have this one. Butcher picks the ball up. Here comes the chase. He's got that one in the end. Quickly on now. Smith gets to run a bit. Over the 22 metre line. And he stopped in that one. Police. The ref wants him to let go of it. Barkley takes it out of the back. Big defence. Franks gets his man. He'll look to set it back. Ruck is formed. He has to release. Wyatt Crockett delivers the ball. Owen Franks forced Please. back in the tackle. He's got to let it go now. Ball lost in a crunching tackle. Yeah, it was a bit of a fumble. But they were on it like grease lightning. Going nowhere in that tackle. The All Blacks might have retained this. Holland makes the tackle. It looked like they busted the defensive line completely there. Maul is locked in now. Wyatt Crockett is controlling it at the back. Carries it hard to the line. Oh, mercy me, what a tackle. That could have put him in Ward 4. I hope not, Justin. That's a maternity ward. The All Blacks still have it. Messam pulls it out of the back. The crowd are on their feet as they get close to the line. The hit takes him over the touchline. Adams gets it. Keeps it moving. Some real pressure there. He gets the kick way downfield. Let's it bounce, but he's gathered it up. That'll knock the wind out of him. The All Blacks could have kept this. Owen Franks delivers it to a runner. Thekatoa just got a bit of room here, and off he goes. Conrad Smith sets it up. Karen Reed gathers it out of the back. Real chance here. He gets there first. They did well. Great teamwork to build that drive. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. Yep, totally agree. Here comes the conversion. This one off to the side, but not too difficult. Kick looks good. And the flags are up. Two points added. Well, it's a close match. Both teams have done well so far. So, it's pretty tight here at the break, and it's a bit surprising to see a close contest, really. We've just heard we have a capacity crowd, and as you can hear, they're in good voice. Not the tidiest of matches so far. Let's take a look at the stats. Very even contest in possession. A good tight match. A good number of hit-ups in this game so far, so good work up front. There's a big second half coming up here. The All Blacks with the lead, and we're underway here in the second half. Kick-off taken in. Mialamu gets the ball to his support player. 
right block sprints away. The ball's being contested. It's there. Barkley keeps the ball moving. Julian Saab makes a good burst. There's the ball. Whitelock grabs it out of the back. Look at him go, what a run. Real chance here. And that's a try beautifully executed. Well, they were never going to catch him, and that's a brilliant try. Simply magical, folks. A proven match winner. He has bought all his tricks in the bag. Yeah, he's done very well there. Breaks away, and then no one could catch him. Simply too fast. Couldn't agree more. Shot at goal, still to come, and chance for another two points. Carter will line this one up. And it looks like it'll go over. Short kickoff here. Liam Messam takes in the kickoff. He's not letting go. Advantage. That was a forward pass. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. He'll be really disappointed with himself there. An unforced error. First Ouch. scrum in the game. Find. Set. Davis puts it in. Brutal contest in the scrum. Both teams putting pressure on. They turned it over. Beautifully done. The ball is out. Collected by Smith. Breaks through. The defence bring him down this time. Good little step. Karen Reed goes for a gallop over halfway. Liam Messam finds a runner. There's some real force in this defence. Ah, uh, yes, brilliant work by the All Blacks. The crowd can't believe it. Turnover. Good turnover. Excellent stuff. Still there, I think. Williams with a pickup. Shovels it on. That's a lovely pass. Quick delivery. Johnson giving the defence something to think about. Holding on to the ball until the support arrives. Ref says play on, turn over here. Getting players there a little more quickly and they manage to turn it over. He's broken the tackle apart. Brought down eventually, finally. Aaron Smith gives it off now. Not a good decision to try and offload there. Dan Carter. His police have to release the ball now. He pushes it on. Going nowhere in that tackle. Lovely tackle. Wyatt Crockett driven backwards. They take their time getting there. Good turnover ball. Davis gets the ball to his support Advantage. player. And it was a forward pass. So, unable to work it, and they'll come back for the scrum instead. When he looks back, he will realise he's made a horrible mistake. Crouch. Now we'll have a scrum. Fine. Well, they do have the ability to hold the scrum well, Set. Nesbo. A brutal contest in the scrum. Halfback takes the ball. Ref says ball is out. Back inside. Richie McCaw moves it back. Back he goes. Easily past his opposite man. 
coach won't be happy if it's turned over here. USA have stolen this. Did well to create the turnover. Dead right, Justin. Johnson gets a bit of steam up. He's having a go at the ball. So, just a few minutes remaining here. Richie McCaw takes it down. He took that back over the 22 under his own steam, so we'll be coming back. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. Banks dragged it down nicely. The performance in the lineup has been pretty solid so far. And he runs into some effective defence. Not much time remaining now. Now flat. And that's a good tap. You have to release the ball now. Breathtaking. He pushes it off. There's some real force in this defence. Abbott brought down in a lovely tap. Davis gets the ball to his support player. Ball's being contested. And Kip finds the line. And the arms are raised as they take the victory. The All Blacks, the winners over USA. The All Blacks, the victors. It's been an interesting game here. Just too strong in the end. They win comfortably. There were quite a number of kicks made in this match. It was a real old-fashioned kicking battle. The penalty count was an issue, just too high really. No shocks there then, this one played out according to script. The All Blacks come away the victors here. It's been a great game, look forward to seeing you next time, bye from us.